it appears we have now got a firmware update for the DJI Mini 2 and that DJI Fly App 1.6.6 has been rolled out to all Android and iOS devices. So what I'm going to do in this video is just cover everything that I've found and talk about the new firmware update for this drone and of course what it means for you if it's safe should you install and any new features I have noticed with the DJI Fly App. So let's get into it. When you power on your DJI Mini 2 and your controller, you're going to be greeted with this firmware update. You can see this is 01050000, and this is all about meeting those Japanese RID requirements, but of course, it comes with DJI Fly 1.6.6. Now, these are not bundled together. You do need to install the Fly app separately. You can do it the usual ways, wait for the pop-up within the app, go to the DJI download page using a web browser, or of course, use my Google Drive and there will be a link in the bottom uh, in the video description so you can go there and get it from there. So this took me around five minutes to install so not long at all and not much drain on the uh, drone's battery or of course it's not a huge update anyway. Uh, now one thing to notice is after doing this firmware update I this is for the positive I did a cold start on this drone because I didn't actually do the update in the location with which I'm filming this um, and one thing to mention for the positive is is the satellite lock does seem to have improved over 1.4.0000 um, so this drone was pretty much ready to fly after around 25 to 30 seconds I believe it was uh, so that's certainly a positive step now going through the DJI fly app uh, in great detail um, now I do apologize because I didn't actually cover 1.6.4 so some of what I'm going to mention might have been updated within that app but of course I'm seeing it for the first time because I've skipped a step and I've just jumped straight to 1.6.6. Uh, first of all the uh, units seem to be highlighting where they wasn't before so again that is always positive. If we pop through the menus if we go to the customizable button for the function button uh, you can see that menu is slightly laid out differently. Now I do know that that did come on the last update uh, but of course I'm covering it first time here and of course one thing I wanted to test and I always check and this is absolutely superb news if we allocate the function button to the AE lock and unlock if we actually try that in practice uh, by putting the DJI Mini 2 up in the air you can see that is now working now even though it was working previously we had no visual indicator on screen to say that it was and I'm pleased to say that as you can see down at the bottom it now tells us when AE lock is on and when it is off so that is overall an absolutely fantastic feature that DJI well really we shouldn't be praising them because it was there initially and they took it away but now I can see it's finally back and this will make many people happy including myself. Sadly the issue does still remain on the DJI Mini 2 uh, where there is absolutely no ability to reset the aircraft yaw rotation speed so basically how quick and how smooth that is for some reason uh, even though the gimbal one works the aircraft one it just doesn't if you hit that reset button nothing happens and one thing to mention as well is because we have had a firmware update we will need to make sure that you go back and check all your parameters the little LED light color will have changed and it'll be on beating or breathing or whatever the hell it is or your return to home settings will have changed your max distances will all have reset as well so you are going to need to go in and check all of those taking the DJI Mini 2 out for a flight it seems to be performing absolutely fine with no real issues now I can't actually fly this drone quite far on this test to do a proper signal or range test and that's purely because it is quite windy today and so I don't want to venture out too far I'll put the drone in a position where it might have to return to home I want to keep it in control and make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong but what I did fly I saw absolutely no issues with drone whatsoever I did notice that even when I had actually stopped yes I did kind of attribute it to its being a little bit windy um, the drone didn't seem to be completely stable in the air it did seem to be moving up and down and wobbling about a little bit because I could physically see the drone um, so that is one thing to look out for again I I have done a compass calibration of course um, and an IMU calibration you can see that its wind performance hasn't changed at all it really was fighting the wind you can just see how uh, spanked over this was by looking at the horizon but it did manage as it always does this is an absolutely fantastic beginner drone
later on if you don't want to go to the cost of the DJI Mini 3 Pro I would highly recommend this so coming back down then I want to check something that was a bit of a fault on one of the last app updates and this is all to do with quick shots and the drone actually picking you out and selecting a target that didn't seem to be working there was a bit of a workaround you could exit the app and load it back up again and and it would sometimes pick you out but really that's not ideal and DJI should have fixed it and when I've been flying this drone and continuously flicking off the app into video and photo mode and back to quick shot mode the drone actually did pick me out as a target every single time so it does appear that that is now working exactly as it should it has to be said that looking at the controller initially uh, my compass was off but whenever you get a compass issue it is largely down to the compass within the device that you are using whether it be the RC controller or of course your phone or tablet the easiest way to calibrate that is gone to Google Maps click the dot and you can see it gives you the option to calibrate so once I completed that you can see it was much more accurate on this drone but of course nothing to do with the firmware update nothing to do with the controller and nothing to do with the app so overall this combination of the DJI fly app 1.6.6 and the new firmware 01050000 does seem to be a perfect combination and as far as I can see anyway everything seems to be working absolutely fine on this drone at this current moment in time I will uh, follow this up with a signal test in better conditions so we can see if anything has improved there but overall perfectly happy and both of these seem to be working absolutely fine and like I said we've seen a bit of an improvement with the uh, satellite pickup as well now with all that information you have just got it is time to wrap up this video because four times now my camera that I'm talking into has shut off due to the temperatures here today so let me know your thoughts and everything you have found in the comment section below or indeed just comment on everything that I've mentioned in this video until next time give this a big thumbs up if you found it useful subscribe if you're awesome and I'll see you again soon